Jesus wasn't the first Jewish thinker to suggest that at the heart of all the Torah, the heart of the law of God, is the commandment to love one another and to love God with all your heart, soul, and mind. When Jesus says, a new commandment I give unto you, that you love one another as I have loved you, he doesn't stop there. He continues by saying, greater love has no man than this, that he lay down his life for his friends. No longer do I call you servants, but I call you friends. So as Jesus gives this commandment to love, which is a very difficult commandment to define sometimes, how does love behave? Although Paul gives us a good idea in 1 Corinthians 13, Jesus says to them, I am promoting your status now. You used to be my servants, my disciples, but now I call you friend, which means that we are more equal. And the motivation for what we do is not out of fear, but it's out of love because friends love one another. Friends lay down their life because they love one another, not because they're afraid of some type of condemnation. So the motivation for loving one another is that we are friends, we are brethren, we are like Abraham who was called the friend of God. And the ultimate expression of that love is in service, just as Jesus washed their feet. He calls those who would be greatest among his followers to be servants of all.